Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Logan Smokes, and I'm here with part two of Black Rose, the, the game with that girl that I don't like, but I got to the point where we were last episode. If you don't, if you haven't seen that, just check out my channel and check out uh, the first episode in the Black Rose series. Of course, I made one like a little playlist thing, so check it out there. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoy the episode, and let's Fucking go for the oh, optimistic yeah. cynic guy. Shit, ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to make us Anyways, to we ended up here because that bitch was right there. And <coughs> I think I know what to do with this key now. Because my friend, uh, Cheyenne, she actually had an idea which that little gold key is probably for this fucking chest. Oh my god, in the chapel, oh my god, fuck, 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 stupid me, stupid me, stupid me, stupid me, because technically when it saves, it'll have a saving on the bottom left, so then I don't know when to save it, so go, 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 fuck this shit, I'm out, I'm out, does it work? Yes, it does! The only way to keep Merle in her coffin for good is to lock it. I thought I had to lock it before, but someone else must have unlocked it. Either that or the lid was forced open. There's a key in here labeled Merle. And there's a fucking Merle key. I got a Merle key. Uh, forgot the ambience. Hello? <coughs> is it? What what is it for? Is it the far? <gasps> is it this far one? Um, I don't want to see you tonight, Rose. I'm sorry, but it's not it's not working out. You have very much mouth. Yes. But I don't I don't do stuff like that. I don't I don't do stuff like that. Oh my god, what is fucking locked? What is locked? <sighs> Only I can remember what's locked, and I think it's her fucking chest. Hello? I just need to lock you up for fucking good. Just for real. Is she in there? Probably do that on Saturday morning. Silver key fell from inside the coffin. It was labeled V. Room 1. What is. Oh my god! Shit! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! She's pissed! Holy fuck! Stop screaming! No! Damn it, it's jammed! Go! Jam it! Open! Come on! Come on, go! Ah, ah, please, please. I didn't mean to do anything. Ah. Shit. Shit. I'm not asking you to speak to me, but I made something for you today. At first I thought about going out and picking you the prettiest flowers I could find, but decided not to. Flowers are beautiful, but eventually they all die. Instead, I made you an origami milk rose. Paper will never wither, just like my love for you. Oh. <coughs> this rose is black because we loved you. We, because the love we once shared is gone. Damn. It was lost in the darkness, and there's no ignoring that. However, even if this love is no longer mutual, there is still one side that will never die. This rose is our symbol. Holy shit. Oh shit! What? Locked? What? 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 Lockdown? Enabled? Why did she lock it down? What? Why did she lock it down? Why did she lock it down? Is this unlocked now? No, it's the far one. It has to be. It has to be. 
Unless I got to, I had to lock her away. Oh, oh. I'm getting scared. Stop. No. Fuck. Maybe if you weren't such a whore to your last husband, he would still be with you. But no. You need to be friends. I went crazy being in this house. It's locked down. Well, I mean, it's not a floor, it's a house, but probably shit, fuck, blah, 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 is this it? Yes, yes, damn it. Ever since my first day working here, I felt a little strange. Now, after what happened that day, things seem to be getting even stranger. I'd even go so far as to say creepy. I've been an embalmer for years now, and I'm very passionate about my job. I've always felt comfortable with what I do, so it's pretty unusual that I feel this way. Two of my colleagues have died. I had to embalm them both. However, grief can't explain this feeling. Up until just four days ago, I hadn't even known about the history of this funeral home. I already knew that it was ridiculously old, but what I didn't know was that it allegedly harbors some kind of powerful aura which traps and torments the spirits of people who have died in a state of grief or fear, and have at some point been associated with the building in one way or another. These associations apparently include those occurring post-mortem, such as embalmings and funerals. Okay, voice acting, I like it. Oh shit. You guys hear that? What the? No! Stop! Fuck! What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Fuck! What the fuck is that? I don't like new noises. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fuck, throw some balls, son. Fucking Christ. Shit. Does this shit have anything? What do you want me to do? Oh, I hate this. Stop. Stop fucking doing this shit to me. I just wanna be free. Oh shit! What the cunt bag? Oh my. Um, um, um. That is not normal. I don't think that is normal at all. But fuck it, I'm running into it because I'm a fucking smart motherfucker. There's some trophies! Mr. Rand, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during funeral services. It's dis disruptive and upsetting to the grieving families. Today, he also stole one of the keys to the visitation room and was later attempted to open one of the drawers in the morgue. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If you do not start controlling him, I will take it upon myself to personally teach him a lesson, Michael. Oh, well, that sounds fucked up, and I need to fucking go in here, hopefully. Ha! Huh. Come on, be open. Yes, it's open. It's a visitation room. This is not going to be freaky at all. It's not scary, right? Uh. To make things even weirder, this place has a serious lockdown system. Yesterday was Found the out. first time I've ever seen it used, and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care of. Mm -hmm. No one I've spoken to about it knows why it was done, or at least they won't say. All I know is that these safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. Yeah, I can see that. I was the first responder that day. I was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a parting I love you on that baby monitor, but that was the last communication they ever had. The last thing she ever did was give me that piece of paper. It was a short poem she had written for Sullivan earlier that day. She asked me to give it to him, and I promised her I would. Then she slipped away. I 
guess Sullivan had picked up by Myrtle, weak rasping in the baby monitor that something was happening to her, because soon after she'd passed, he came running into the hall from the upstairs arrangement room. But he was too late. She was gone. That's when he broke down. I'd never seen him show so much emotion towards Myrtle before. Then, of course, the rest happened. I'll keep my promise, even now. It's all I can do for my dear friends. Dear friends. Saving. Save points. Save points. So that is actually going to be it for uh, the Black Rose tonight. Just because it's pretty late and uh, I'm pretty tired. I got to work and stuff. But also, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like and or comment any suggestions you got. So I am kind of stuck. I mean, not really anymore. I can kind of go in and figure out what's going to happen next, but I have to find the next key. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. Um, I enjoy playing this game a lot. It's really greatly made, and it is free on Steam. So if you guys want it, you can totally download it and give good props on it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a good night. And peace out. Bye. Good night.